open up the map. This can open up the run here for XPC. The Romanian team are gonna go against one more Russian team here. So we had two Russian teams in the semifinals. One is out. Let's see if this Russian team can survive to the grand final. But they will not. They will be going down in this run at least. And XPC is gonna have a fall this run in their bag here. So right now this is we're gonna open up with D cash here. XPC winning the piss run now in the in this special free series. So let's, let's get on the way here. So start coming up from Romanian squad. Let's see if they can follow up with a second one here. We know that anyway they're gonna be stacking this bomb site. There are four players on a bomb site. Creek uh, the leaves creek alone in the middle here. So if they decide to go towards this A, they're gonna have a trap set up here on the A side. So. And they, they does have that everything purchased up in this round. Have everything they need, so. Let's see if they're gonna walk into the trap or not. It doesn't look that way that they're gonna go to A. It's a 50 50 choice here, a gamble for the Russians. Either they're going A or either they go B. So the gambler on A side, but we're gonna see Creaker. He's gonna get the first kill in this in this game for himself. And that's gonna be the one sh with a juicy one the eagle kill. Back to a 4 versus 4 now, 50 seconds left on the clock. XPC squad, they need to make a choice fairly soon here to where they want to go. And it looks like they're gonna go towards that B bomb side where Creaker is holding all by himself. So Creaker now, he needs to get some, he's gonna rush through that smoke in fact with the deagle. Actually he's gonna regret it in the last second. Now the teammates are gonna vote in for the Russian team, the Russian squad. They're gonna charge in here but we see one guy get spot vent. But he can't be tagging down mode and Akron, he's getting walled by, by cold if headshot through that low wall there but Yell is still alive taking a double and now Starkiller is going to join him on here so finally Starkiller will re repair himself but that was a shaky run for XPC here. That, that one shot in the beginning with the dig and now the wallbang shot as well. It looks worth for one second but XPC they're gonna capitulate that B bomb side then. They're gonna have that, but Cold is still in the middle here. He's gonna get one kill. And that's four people falling down for XPC. And that's an expensive round. That's a, they have both Akins, all that and Galil so and Kevlar Nade, so that's gonna be so much money lost for XPC and innovate. They're gonna be able to crawl with that that rifle, so. Let's see what is going to happen here. Third run is about to come up here. Innovator has this pistol with one AK on Coldy. So if you can get a double here, try to get the first initial kill and then follow up with the second one. This could be looking good for the squad. But the entry kills are gonna come from XPC here, and we're gonna see that the AK is still alive though. One, two versus five now. They're coming in with a road today now in Coldy. He's gonna be in the car. He's gonna try to go for that kill, he's not gonna find it, yellow is his own point. And it, we got a free series score coming up here, but... Anyway, this is where they, uh, the Sparkers need to turn here. They need to get this first weapon on underway here. If they lose this one, they're gonna be down to an eco, and they're most likely gonna be 5-0 for the XPC squad. And we saw that XPC, they took down London Conspiracy yesterday in the best of one in the quarterfinals. So we know that the... Uh, even the London Crusader, they didn't even have one stand in as at the G2 King win reign. So we know that XPC, they been, they placed, they were so strong yesterday. Can they play the same today, or will Innovate be able to take them down? We just gotta wait and see. But Luke, he's gonna have some entry down, and we know that Luke, such a great offer. He will open up on the map here. Get the first kill. So this should be looking like an Innovate round. But we still have Molotovs and smoke on the XPC side, so they look at the smoke off this middle here. We have three, two smokes in fact setting up towards this mid. And they're gonna flash and smoke out the whole, whole middle, but oh no, Creaker's up on this vent area. And Creaker's not gonna, he's gonna actually gonna miss the shot, and he needs to fall back here. And he's gonna go towards the B bombs, and now we have three pliers on the B bomb side for enemy. This is not looking good here, but they're still gonna commit to that bomb side. Yellow. Comes in with the takedown, but still two players alive here. One getting burned and one is in the corner. 24 HP and it's gonna go down as well. And that's remakes making this ground work. And now we're gonna see Luke gonna follow up on that one. And XPC are gonna capitalize that site. And they will in fact take the fourth one and the first weapon on here.
So let's see what is going up in a fifth round. It looks like Enervate, they will be losing this round, but they should not even win this round. They have Deagles, CSAT, and P250 against full AK and one AWP squad here. So it should be a 5 0 here if nothing further happens. As we can see, it looks like nothing really gonna happen here towards the CD side. Looks like they're gonna get shut down here by the Romanian squad. And we can see now they're still going strong here. Remix picks up that creeper and now they're getting that map control. They're getting everything over this map now. And this is gonna fall down like domino breaks. And it's a walk in the park for XPC at this point. They won the pistol round, they won the follow up round, won the first gun round, and that's why they got 5 0 lead here in the first map. So, see what is going to happen here. Second by Rod coming in for Innovate. They have that AWP on Luke, so he needs to get those first kills. Otherwise, it's gonna look darky, and they can't afford to lose this round. But we're gonna see notch nice touch play coming in here. But yellow, how on earth did he see that coming? He's just gonna shoot down Creaker that was boosted up on the sky on B side. And what a play from yellow, faster than lightning here with AWP. This is the new Kenny S we're seeing in a few, in a few years. This will be the new Kenny S. But four versus four now. We see that anyway. They're gonna trade back that kill, so it's not gonna be too shabby with him going down. So once again, we see XPC. They're gonna do the same strategy. Splash up, made it smoke out. They need to see, watch out for the boost guy and this side guy inside the vent as well. Softkick is still holding strong inside this vent. Will Akron see this coming? Has his nade off, and there we go. The timing is perfect for the for the Tyrus team. It's all about the timing, and now Akron he knows he's inside his vent, and he could just play him. What a timing coming out there! But they're gonna decide to rotate it back towards this A bomb side because they only have one guy defending, and that's gonna be Luke. But he's gonna flash that was a fake flashback, and now he's gonna peek around the corner, but. He doesn't see that Sorky, he has the high ground, and he's gonna collect that double. Nice shot on Sophie there, take him down with one bullet, and that's gonna leave Dima in a nearly impossible situation to retake this site. One versus three, he has a defuse kit to work with though, but he's gonna take the high ground, but does it really matter? Yes, it does, he gets the first pick, but the crossfire comes out for XPC now, and yellow, and now he needs to look right, he needs to look left, but it's gonna be the right side that takes him down, and that's gonna be... 6-0 now, XPC, they're doing a wonderful T side at the start here. If you look at the scoreboard, we have 10-1 on Starkiller, Akron sitting on 7-2, so they're having a good run now, XPC. But not a good side on their former PH squad here on Iron Base. They're not getting these first kills, they're just not getting anything to work for here on Cash. So, let's see what is going to happen here. You see the play and the play. It's not going to go to either bombsite yet. They're taking it very slow here, XPC, and they're doing right so. Because they know if they get the first kill, they can follow up with the second one and overtake the bomb site. You know that the yellow guy is so strong with AWP, so... He's, of course, going to be the man, but... Will you see the guy coming up on the container? He's full white, he doesn't even know the guy is up on the container. But when you show yourself, you only see the head. But we can see now that just nothing happens. But he sees the guy finally, and now in position. No, the CT doesn't know that he knows, but he's still gonna take him down with that M4 silencer. And now they're gonna keep follow up. But nice play from Enemy. They're about to get the first run on the way here. Two men standing here, and they have low HP 23 and 66 here. And one of them even has that AWP, so. This could be going good, but look at this right now, Remix. He needs to watch the high ground, he's gonna jump down to lower ground. And he's not gonna see him coming there. There comes off, he's from behind with Luke as a backup. And we have 6-1 now. And Enervated doing a slightly comeback here, but only one run, so... Not much to rely on here for this, for this squad. So, we can see yellow once again with the sniper here, being boosted up on that boost buff, but the, the counter molto is going to come in, so that's going to delay things for yellow here to peek out middle. 
But there comes the flashbang, and he's gonna peek out. He knows that one guy's inside Link. And if he actually peeks out now, he knows that Quaker is right in the corner, but he needs to watch out for, towards the vent, because Stalky, he's been there twice in a row. They need to watch out every single angle when he goes up middle here, but... No, but it's gonna be vent or the sandbag. They're in fact gonna be short and in the link. So we have Sophie peeking towards the main now, but nobody's gonna actually peek out, so... This is looking good now for XPC when they're taking control. Even though one, they're one man down, they're looking good here in this round. They have taken the mid present, they're about to go forward here towards the A-bomb site. But what they don't know is that Sofik is up on this boost spot. And he's down below the boost spot, and there comes the rain. The Molotov raining in, and there we go. Akron, he sees the guy, but it's gonna be too late now. When they're shutting them down, Starkill is left alone here. He's gonna get the bomb down at least, so... He's gonna get some money. Actually, he's not gonna get the money. Sofik is just gonna rush in and deny the bomb plant. And it's not gonna get the bomb econ the economy money. So let's see here, 6-2 now, 2 in a row for the CT squad, can they pick up more than 5 rounds, then they could save their CT half slightly at least. 5 rounds is not really the best on CT but I don't really think they can take more than 5 rounds at this point. We know that that's it, the rumble is coming in. But Luke, he has the angle, look at Luke and Yellow, they're just few centimeters away from connecting with each other. And now yellow, oh yellow is gonna miss the shot, and now Luke, he's gonna be able to put that smoke out, and now that's gonna delay things even longer on the T side to come out here, but they do have spare smokes from XPC, they could, could work their way slowly but surely out middle here, and they're gonna do so, F pull out the five five, pull out the smoke, and now they know one guy is inside vent, but he's already down to the ground, and now Sofik almost went down as well, but it's just not enough here on the XPC squad, but finally coming in with the trades here, and now they have executed the B-bomb site. The post pan position are gonna come in from XPC. We have Starkiller watching the vent from the shakers. We have remakes up on the box here on the bomb site, so they have good position lined up here, but I'm not sure the Russians know that this guy is in the corner here, below the boost spot. So this could be a surprise, and they still have two flashes to work with, so. And there goes, there goes the first, goes for the second one, and there we go, Starkill's gonna come in, but Luke comes in from up, and he's gonna miss the no scope, and now it's gonna be XPC doing a wonderful post band position, getting the wrong 3 versus 2, but oh Luke, 1 centimeter away from connecting with that no scope with AWP, so, so close, but yet so far away. So, let's see what is going to happen here, 7-2, but anyway, they're gonna reply back, they're gonna play a fast play here, Star killing. he gets one of these, but can he get the second one, no, Akron, he's gonna say, hey buddy, you need some help, I'm here for you, bro, so, turn back to Fever 3, make that Fever 2 now, and when Star Killer falls down, towards his grave, now the kill's coming back and forth for this team, but Cementi, he has the bombs that under control, but, the thing is that the bomb is dropped in garage. They need to go back to pick up the bomb with one minute left on the clock. And Coldy here. Oh, the timing is perfect for Coldy. Just making a way over towards the garage area. And now Akron, 11 HP, and that's what I thought about it. He just went down. But Cemente now is gonna rush through the clock. He needs to look the corner right now. Right side, need to be looking right now. Looking right, looking left. But he needs to get caught by gold. He didn't look at corners completely. And the Russians finally gonna get some more runs on the board here. So let's see who stepped up. But we still have Semenza with two kills on the board here. But the same for Dima, so. Right now. It's not going to go for Dima and Cemente, they need to start stepping up their A-game here, if they want to have a chance to win this game for these teams. So far, it doesn't really need to do anything, because they have a 7-3 lead, but it's about to get 7-4 now, when they're down to the low body pistols, and the low body smokes, with Kevlar, so... Should be a 4th one fairly easy here for the Russian squad, but... Never say never, they know that this takes time, been winning from before XPC. 
they are dangerous with this pistol, so we're not gonna cut down. But Luke getting the shot through the smoke of Samantha, and Samantha now he should be frustrated. He only has two kills on the board, and going down like that, it's not gonna be fun. But now two players left alone here. XPC, they're both in the same position. They're team punching each other. And Luke's gonna get the second one. And he's the last man standing. Can't really deal with five players against himself. And the defuse are coming in as well. So that's the fourth one on the board here for Innovate. Let's see here. Will they clinch a few more rounds here? Or will it be too hard? That's the question here. Bold Arsenal on the CT side, the T's yet to buy here, so they're gonna go down for one more eco, so in fact gonna go double eco here, and they're gonna do the same play, they don't even care, they're going out here, Jolo, out A to bomb side, remakes, get the kill, and now that's gonna leave the A bomb side open, they in fact only have one guy defending here from Innovate, and they're gonna once again go for the retake, but that M4 should be, yeah, Yellow is gonna pick up that M4, but it's gonna go down right after, but still, a retake now, 3 versus 2. We know that this tech that could actually win the round, but... There we go, quickly down to 12 HP now. 1 versus 2, and there we go, Luke finding the headshot, but Iku is somehow still alive with that 12 HP. So anyway, it's... That's gonna be so close for XPC getting that round with only tech 9s. So, so close. If he could just find a second shot, that would have been a Romanian round, but... Not gonna be the case, Innovate in the last second, they're getting that run, and wow, what a round coming in here. And we, we, know, we need to see that rush, they need to put more pressure towards the A bomb site. They can't have one guy, and they know that themselves, that's why they're putting 3A now. Three, one guy get run boosted up, so one guy boosted up, one quad with AWP and Solkit. He's in the short area, so you can rotate fast away, but that boost button is gonna come in really he yet to see nothing, he doesn't even know that the guy's upper. There we go, team damage up scene from Remix. And, and now they're gonna get caught, they don't even know that that guy is boosted up. He's gonna collect a tri triple there, Coldy. And what a play here, the Russians are stepping up their game here. They are definitely stepping up their game. So X once again XPC, down to P250 Tech 9. Let's see if they can do some damage here. I don't really understand this play from XPC. They're going to these A bombs are like 3 4 runs in a row now. They, they know that this B bomb side is easier to take, so why don't you just try to go for a B? Fast B, take 9 rush. Everyone by take 9 rush into B, you splash out, and then go to B side. And have two smokes so you can smoke upper and lower, and then you have the B bomb side. If you can find a take 9 shot in the beginning. So like the B bombs is so much easier to take with this tech 9 than the A bomb side. But we're gonna have an A play, they're gonna take the A bomb side. They're gonna get the bomb now with anybody falling down to the ground. And now it's gonna be a solid 5 versus 5 retake here. But anyway, of course they have the better advantage here with they have the gun. Look here, Stark to get caught from the middle and now it's only gonna be the side guys left here. And the quad is falling down like a domino now, and that's gonna be 7-7, seven, seven, and we are equalized now for the first time in this game. So we are equalized here, so, so last round of the first half is coming up here. We'll have an AWP on Star Killer, but will it drop it to Yellow though? We know that Yellow is an insane helper. Or will it keep it to himself? It's actually in fact gonna keep it to himself, so. Yellow is not gonna have that AWP in this round. And that could matter a lot. But we, we know that Starkiller, he could play as good as well with AWP, but... Yellow is one step better than Starkiller with that AWP and Star. He's gonna go down with it even doing any damage. So that's the waste of AWP there. And Yellow, he's looking to pick that up. He wanna have that AWP, but... It's two, two people defending that AWP, so... He won't be able to pick that up, but... 5 versus 4, gonna kind of back to that B -bo A bomb site. And Softkit, pop flash, 4 Softkit out, get the one. And that's what I like, just get one kill and then fall back. Not necessary to go for a second one there, just get one, 
and then you can fall back to your individual position. We can see now soft kid. It should be going down here, but somehow and there we go. Remix is gonna make that team kill. It's gonna headshot his, his teammate, but Remix is still standing now. He knows that one guy's in the corner. And it's gonna creep you're gonna creep up with using the control button. And anyway, they're gonna get the lead, believe it or not, from a 7-2 to a 8-7. Six runs in a row for Innovate in this in the CKT half. From being having nothing to have actually having a really decent half now. So eight seven now Innovate down. Of course, this is the piss run now coming up. Four Glocks, one Tech Nine, and XPC. They're gonna stick with the USP and one Peter Tusson of Star Killer. So. No, gonna have really that much grenade to work with in either of these two teams. But Cementa now is gonna get caught, but that's gonna be a one on one trade. And it's gonna be a burning man for one second there, but the take nine the run in take nine is so OP. But they still it's still the Glocks that are doing the damage here. A remix here, will spell squeaker. He will in fact take them down to low damage. But still, he gotta go for it once again. Now he's gonna have his back turn, but he's still gonna be able to turn around. But Yellow just coming in from the sea to spawn and just charging in like a tractor. And he's gonna get them done, he's gonna demolish them down. And that's gonna return back to an 8 8 scoreline. And whoa, what a play now. We see Yellow really stepping up here on the piece run to make the life harder for Innovate. So the former PH squad is still doing good though. They have eight runs on T side. They don't need to panic just because they lost the pisser on. They are still looking good here, but XPC now they have the heavier guns. XPC sitting on those heavy guns and anyway, they're sitting on those lower tier guns. Because you now we're in fact gonna have four people towards the door. And if they just had one guy just in front of the door to just demolish them down, that would be a beautiful. But that's not gonna happen. We have Akron here, gets the first, goes for a second, gets the second one. And now it's gonna follow up on the third, and this is just a bob bath. Collects that quad off the roll. And XPC, Akron, he just gotta do it by himself. Just lock down those P250, and they're not gonna allow even the bomb plant or even a kill happening from the squad. And wow, now XPC, they're definitely doing good now. Played so good versus London Conspiracy, and this is the thing. This is this was the map they play versus London Conspiracy on the cash. So we know that they could play very good, and they should be winning this map against any rate because they're a good cash team. They definitely should have this map in their bag. So. Still a slow place, but full arsenal both it's in anime. There comes the grenade. It's gonna make at least 23 damage here. Luke down to 73. And now We're still gonna see a pose, but XPC they're doing the damage on anime. And they don't even like that. They don't like that getting so much damage without getting any damage back, so. They gotta decide now. Oh, we need to go fairly soon because otherwise these nades are gonna come in once again. But there we go, this Archon spraying through the smoke, even making more damage. And now look at the damage on enemy rate. They're down to so low, so they gotta commit in about 5 to 10 seconds. Need to go to the bomb side. The clock is running down now. 30 seconds left, it's about to come down. And time is, is off the asset right now for this rush chance. And now, 25 seconds, here comes the play. But Akron is still alive in the fourth one. He's just dancing around these bombs. But it's finally gonna go down, but. It's, they can't follow up here. Anyway, they can't be able to follow up on the skills. And just gonna be XPC getting these skills. And now, Soul Kick. He's gonna go down as well. And XPC getting to 10th run on the board now. And wow. Anyway, they need to get the refrags. You can't let them deal so much damage on you without damage back or getting any kills back. So, with that said. Anyway. Down to these pistols once again now. We do have, in fact, five smoke grenades, so maybe it's gonna be some kind of play here. Smoke up mid, two smokes middle, and then go two people towards the vent, and then three people or two, three mid, 
towards the uh, towards the B lobby towards your B split. Dima Luke and Quicker go middle vent, and then Sophie can call the goes towards the B, and then they just split up here. And that's what they're gonna do, right? They're gonna do a B split, and remix is gonna go down. And here comes the tech guy, Cemente. It's not gonna live for any longer. And this is so far a perfect B split from towards the vent and the B lobby. Now they need to calculate Akron. They, they know that can't retake this bomb site. They got away for the grenade by Creaker. It's gonna come from behind and it's gonna get an easy kill. And now he's gonna even get the second one. No, in fact, he's not gonna do it, but it doesn't even matter. It's gonna be a 10 9 break this year. They basically did that, as I said, going for that beast plate. And we know that. The thing is now that Cementa is just still sitting on 7, he's recovering a little bit, but we know that this guy is so much better than his show on this map, so... Maybe it's time for him to step up here. So, Remix up on the vent once again, gonna fall back a little bit. He's actually gonna fall back, he's not gonna take the danger to get grenaded or multiple down, in fact. So, getting the safer choice here, but... Anyway, they're just looking for this green light towards either of these bomb sites, either A or either B. They don't even know yet, because they gotta find that first kill like they did so good. But maybe they could be a middle. Maybe they could do the same play again. Smoke up middle, go vent, and then go B. And just do a B split once again here. With two smoke left and right side. But, oh, there comes the peek out. Oh, he, he's fast on his reflexes. He knows that yellow. It's so yellow that just popping up there. But now, we see the flashes are running in here, but look at this. Anyway, they're gonna fall back. They decided for one second to go to a way, but now they're gonna go back to B by remake. It's just around the box here on the B bomb, so this is gonna be crucial with Akron joining him out there. And Pontbrand Ray, he's not getting him down. Remix missing the shot, and finally, with the last bullet, he's connecting. And now. Luke, he's gonna have the crosshair, he's gonna walk into that crosshair, and it's back to 2 versus 2 now, so... Dark Hill, still hopping out all for Luke now. 10 seconds left, he need to get the bomb down now, he can't fake plant. He need to go for the plant, and there we go. Here comes the plant, and here comes the two players coming in here. He gets the first shot, not gonna get the second one. And Star Killer, he gets that double, but that was a close round though. From a 4 versus 2, back to a 2 versus 2 for one moment there. But XBC, they managed to get it out at, get it out at the end. So, let's see here what is going to happen. 11 to 9, and anyway, they're gonna buy once again here. They're not gonna decide to eco. They have everything they can. Even though Luke's sitting on that scout, it's still a comfortable buy. But same tactic set up again, Innovate, they're gonna go for the picks, one, 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 they're just gonna split out everywhere except Cold and Luke going to together. L rest of the players are just looking to get that first ex enter kill. Get that first enter so kill, get that A press and could be working out, because only have one player defending A now with stall kill in the short, so smoke off the short in the middle and then go towards A. That could be the tactic, but of course they don't know what I know. Yellow now, this is his favorite weapon, and with that AWP he's gonna miss the shot, he's gonna readdress the shot, but will it read us in the same position? He's getting Molotov, so he's gonna force off now, and Dima is gonna pick him out. But look at the trades coming in here, XPC, they're still going strong here, they're still alive, they're still dancing strong, but the B play, will it come in? If so, this is gonna be good for XPC, because they have two people defending here. One man down to 5 HP, the Molo comes in towards the higher, but they yet to commit to the side here, 20 seconds left, and there we go, last of the two mans are falling, won't be able to do anything off their advantage in that round. So... Eleven to ten now. XPC down to the pistol, so we're looking at 11-11-11 scoreline here. And it's such an exciting first map here between these two teams. 
the favorites coming into this game is gonna be Enervate. You gotta put it that way. When everyone knows that Enervate, they are the favorites in this game. To take down XPC, but XPC surprising in London Conspiracy yesterday, so why can't they do it twice? If they just play the same play like yesterday, they will be taking home this first map. So they just gotta have the confidence themselves, but the Molotov's running in towards the MBK area and the nade towards the quad. So they're not checking highway here, and he's gonna get the first, get the second one with the USB, and now Kenny is gonna recover that AK, and they gotta turn around the whole run. They're just gonna turn that switch on. And now back to 2 versus 2, and now look at the HP from those two teams. Look at the HP, 29 and 7 for the T, and 44 and 30 on the CTs, and now. It's gonna be the guys still 2 versus 1. They're planning on B bomb site though. And soft kick now. Will he get caught? He's not gonna do so. It's gonna get that quad kill and innovate. Just gonna survive with those 5 combined, a lot, 10 HP combined on those two, down, uh, two weapons. On the two players. So what a play. I can't even talk right now. That was such a round. XP looked like it was gonna win that round, but. The fall short at the end there. And now it's gonna be 11 11 and XPC. Once again, they need to eco, they don't have money to work with. So, anyway, they're looking good here. Cement, uh, he's gonna try to recover himself because he know that he didn't really play that good on the T side. He's trying to fix it on the C to side, but he's just gonna go such a YOLO play there, just jumping out in the open. But Archeron, can he recover an AK? All they want to do right now is to pick up an AK, kill one guy, pick the AK, and then save that AK to the next round. Gets one though, but he's still surrounded. And there comes the Molotov in, and he's gonna get calls from every single angle. He's getting sandwiched in. And the Russian, they will be taking the lead though. So the Russian now has the lead. So, they are playing strong here. But from having a 7-2 lead in XPC to going down 12-11, they had just such a strong opening, and they just they just fell apart at the end of the C, uh, at the end of the T half XPC. And now they had a, such a strong opening, having a 4-1 lead, and now they lost three in a row. But that five is gonna be genius, Akron. You're such a genius, but so good getting the wall bang. Akron gets the second one, but it's gonna get the knight on the third because he getting wall bang with so good through the door. Through the, the door wall, and you can see the uh, the uh, bullet holes through that main, taking him down out of the equation. Now we see that XPC and anyway, they're just exploring the map at this time around. They don't really do anything. They want to explore to see what they can come up with in this round, because XPC they have cleared the favorites into this round. So, we are going to see now the boost coming in, Luke. Everyone has 100 HP though, so nobody's kind of low down here, so... Little favorite. They but how on earth did Sofka get that one shot on yellow? I don't even think he knows himself what happened there. 25 seconds left. The bomb is still in garage though, so it's going to come take a lot of time to rotate back to this A bomb site. Dark is going to defend here, but it's going to come down to the last seconds here on the timer. And it's even gonna go down, and now it's gonna be an end take. They're taking over the bomb site without anybody being able to cover. The bomb is going down, they should be going down now. Retap planning. Four seconds left, and the bomb is just going down. And it basically came down to Star Killer to defend that area, but that didn't happen, and now they will be getting the 24th one here on the board. And there we go, they're gonna lock it down, but all went down to Star Killer. He needed to take the short guy and then turn around to get at least one guy on the main to coming out with a bomb. So it's a one which we need to take at least one or maybe two players there, but he didn't even work. He didn't even get one down, so nice play from him. Unlucky play as well, not being able to connect on the first one. But XPC now did they, they looked so strong in the start, but now they're not going good. Down to these pistols now, and look at it. This is gonna be a B stack. They're gonna stack for B, but now they're gonna rotate back. So, will this? They actually decided to stack on the B bomb side for one second, but 
They're gonna say, hey guys, we're just gonna split out, try to do your best, try to get some pistol kills. But, looks like they're going back to B now. They should just stay on B side, this is like, you can gamble on a pistol run. Just gamble, it's A or B, it's gonna be 50-50 wherever they go, so. Just choose a bomb site instead. And that's what they're doing right now, 4 on B, and Star Kill's gonna leave B alone on A. But... Look at this, the bomb is gonna go towards the B, so this is genius, they're gonna walk into the XPC's trap here. They have set it up a trap, and now they're about to walk into it. Having four players defending here, it could be it. They're now coming in here, but they have smoke grenades, so they're gonna smoke upper and lower. And here we go, and one is gonna go up, and it's still three people on the bomb side here. And we're gonna see two people from upper, and it's just falling apart XPC. Still not to get in these kills though. They had a lot of players on the bomb side, but they couldn't even make it out there. Only making one kill. And Samantha, he's just standing inside the smoke. And now he's gonna fall back, so. Trying his luck with a wall bang. It's not his turn yet, quite yet. And we have a 14 11 scoreline now for the Russian team. They are two runs away from taking map number one here. And I do think that is XPC's map choice. If I'm not mistaken. No, it's actually P8. It's actually... It was actually Enervate's map pick. I was actually surprised there that Enervate picked this map. Because we know that XPC from yesterday. They got down long of the on this map. So I really thought this was XPC's map pick. But apparently not. This is Enervate. And if they play this good on their map pick. You can imagine their own map pick as a second map. That's going to be Mirage. So, XPC is still having strong maps left here. And if it goes down to a third map, that's gonna be a potentially a cobblestone, but we're gonna see the opening. The XPC gonna reply back now, and just back, for, back and forth, back and forth at this time. And if XPC lose this run, they're gonna be gone. They can't win this match anymore if they're losing this run. But there comes the Molotov, and that's gonna burn him down. It's actually not gonna get burned. Gonna move away from that quad position. And Coldy getting pinched out. And here comes the play. Coldy seeing the CT charging in now. But he has the AWP loot getting the first back to a 1 versus 1 now. Will it repeat the same bagger? He will in fact. And he's gonna get that double. So that Luke making that 1 versus 2 clutch. And now it's 4 map points for the Russians. So now they're only one run away from clinching the first map home and their map pick and to mobile move on to explicit map pick Mirage next. Well, we're gonna see now play the XPC they can't afford a buy though, so that's pretty good going on on their side. That's something they have going for themselves. But you see that so so players coming in here. Anyway, don't really wanna take any risks. They know that only one run away here from taking down XPC on D cash. They're playing cautious here. The bomb is still dropping in the garage area, so we can see that they're not gonna do any pushes without that bomb. Maybe Coldy or Sophie is gonna pick that up. So 55 seconds on the clock is still ticking down, but anyone is yet to make a move here. And they're so scared right now. Both of these two teams, they're so scared. Especially Animate now. They know that they don't wanna they don't wanna make an easy mistake to, to cost them the game. But we can see XPC, they're not having anybody defending the B area, but Spider Cement is coming in with a rotate back. One guy defending B to, from towards the lower. Now he's going to the side. So we see Cement is gonna dodge that Molotov and now cause a flashback to the Lightpings, but he's still in the Molotov. Now pop flash for himself out. But it's still 50 seconds left right now. The bomb needs to happen from Enervate very soon here. And Remake, he's going to take the bomb down. But Soft Kick, he's going to recover it. And they're still going to get a bomb plant. And now it's a 4. It's a 2 versus 3. XPC, they got to go for the retake. But look at Luke. He has that sniper. And it's not that guy's one side inside van. And it's left alone against 3 players. Get the first quick scope. Goes for a second one. He's not going to get the second one. Remakes, he has the position. And that XPC picking up the 12th oh, round. The and they saved Kill one of these four rounds. They need to save.
So, let's see what is going to happen here. 15 12 now, three map point left here for Innovate to secure the first map in this second semi final of today. In the CS Arena Hitbox tournament, but the scene loot now open up the one kill and now. That kind of spark up, they know that they have one entry, so they gotta try to go for a fast A play here. But they cannot they can't go fast quite yet here because there's a smoke in mine, but they don't even care. There comes the and there comes the overhand flashback, and here comes out the push. The back is turned right now. And Samantha, he doesn't even know what's going on. And this is gonna be the nade and the coffee by Star Killer. Gets two in one shot. You call that two in one bird or something like that. I'm not really familiar with that expression. But it doesn't. Either way, we're gonna see Star King get the third one, and now it's about to get the quad killer back to a one versus one. Soft kick are gonna be up against Star Kill here. We can see now. Look at the HP here, 100 against 35. He knows that he's in the quad, and here we go. He's gonna spot the guy off, but the time is running out. There's Soft is gonna land the headshot and animate securing map number one. And. Uh, that is the Fun 2K40 for the first map, guys. We're about to come up with the second one, guys. We're going to have a quick commercial break. And we're going to get back with the second map very, very soon. So don't go anywhere. Introducing Strafe. Now it's easy to keep track of all your esports. With Strafe in your pocket, it's less hassle and more esports. Download now on iOS and Android.